If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we have a brand new golden ticket in packs. We talked about this yesterday on the channel. Antonio Gates, middle linebacker, an absolute monster, obviously. Uh, if you go in and take a look at his attributes, guys, this is a beastly, beastly card. And we'll do that in just a moment. The other cards that are in the game today are Ultimate Legend, Javon Curse, as well as Ultimate Legend, Rondé Barber. So we're talking about some very good players defensively as well. So three... Three amazing defensive players that we can have on uh, on the field today for us if we pull something. I want to quick take a look at this Antonio Gates though, guys, because I mentioned in my video yesterday that I believe this is going to be the best golden ticket that they put out, at least at this point in the game, and for various different reasons, but especially if you're somebody that user controls your middle linebacker, I believe this Antonio Gates is an absolute freaking beast. Uh, so let's quick find this thing on the auction block. Um, let's see here. Buy now price. There we go. There he is. So, Antonio Gates, I don't know what he's going for right now. Cheapest price. This is actually not too bad. 1.77 million. If you like golden tickets, if you're a player that can afford them, I think this is definitely one you should take a look at, especially, like I said, if you use or control your middle linebackers. So, let's quickly, quickly take a look at this thing. Uh, again, amazing attributes as you would ex expect out of a catching for, for Antonio Gates. But I think some of these other things are going to surprise people as well. Basically, every single thing on this card got upgraded. You guys know if you've paid attention uh, that the when, we, when they put out the like the little chart or whatever of things that you could upgrade and what you couldn't upgrade on golden tickets, a lot of things were left off. Like you couldn't upgrade jumping on, I think, anything, but most cards definitely you couldn't upgrade jumping on. Well, this card did have its jumping upgraded, and the reason for it is because, like I said, they had to make this card into a 99. It went from an 83 overall, and it has to go all the way up to a 99. So they can only take things like tackling and make them so good. You know, we got 102 there for that. They've got awareness, got bumped up to a 99. Strength went up, agility went up. Um, obviously, the height is six foot four, so that's really good. Catching is a 97 on this card. 97 for a middle linebacker, guys. Still, all these other attributes very good as well. If you get the ball into your hands, Antonio Gates is still very good. He could definitely return the interceptions for a touchdown. Block shedding is a 97. Pursuit's a 99. Now, some things he's still not good in. Don't get me wrong. His man coverage, his zone coverage are not good attributes. These things are not ones that I would be confident leaving him in man coverage or expecting him to cover a part of the field in zone coverage by himself. I think that you really do want to use or control this card. Even his play recognition is pretty mediocre. But you look at all these other things, though. I mean, you just spectacular catch being a 93 catch in traffic in 85 now 85 doesn't sound amazing but for a defensive player that's unreal that's so so high hit power being a 101 crazy crazy attributes guys very very nice card here in antonio gates and we're definitely going to try and pull that thing but like i said yesterday i believe personally that this is the best golden ticket that they put out it's definitely the best user controlled golden ticket that they put out so far and uh, i know people are going to disagree and they're going to dislike this video or whatever but it doesn't matter. I, that's just my personal opinion. I think that this card is absolutely amazing, and I'm, I'm definitely a big fan of it. So uh, with that being said, guys, what we have in packs today is Ultimate Legend packs. So we're going to go in here and try and pull at least one of those. Uh, we're going to start off with the Pro Packs like we typically do. Then we'll go over and try and open up an Ultimate Legends pack. That's going to contain eight, or, eight gold or better items, as well as uh, an automatic Ultimate Legend item of some sort. So uh, hopefully we can get that one of those boss legends. That would be amazing. I doubt it, but it's definitely a possibility that we could get one of those. And if not, maybe we'll get one of the uh, one of the uh, versions of the new well, Ultimate Legends. That would be pretty nice, too. So let's get in here, guys, and let's start opening up some Pro Packs. Hopefully, we get something good out of these. And also, those uh, those eight gold slots definitely give us an opportunity as well. We get a Pro Pack Redemption there, so we'll open up that one here in just a moment. Arthur Motes, we get an NFL Draft Badge. So actually, not bad for, for the first Pro Pack of the video. At least we made our money back on this thing. Um, so we'll throw this in the set real quick and you guys will see I actually have quite a few of the um, 
uh, of the open, unopened packs, like the various different things that you get from doing the journeys. But uh, we're not going to open up those today, I don't think. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I don't know. <laughs> we might end up opening them at some point. Uh, that one didn't let us open it, but we're going to go in here and open it anyways. I'll show you guys real quickly how many of these other little additional packs that I have. We've got 50 total right now. A lot of them are large quick sells, but we've got 15 total between Game Changers, Legends, All Maddens, All Pros, and Veterans. Um, so we'll open up one of these Pro Packs real quick since we just got it. Hopefully, we get something good out of it. Eric Wood, it doesn't look like there's going to be much out of this one. Get a Dan Carpenter kicker card. So, not much out of this one. But, hey, it was a free pack anyway. So, what can you do? Um, but, but, again, we're going to continue opening up some just standard pro packs here. And uh, hoping that we can get something good. And then, uh, we'll do the ultimate legend at the end. So, yeah, 7,500 coins still for these. Still not really making your money on most of them, sadly enough. Uh, even really coming close on most of them. And we get a Artie Burns draft card in this pack. So not much out of this one either. But yeah, it still feels like the, the packs just you don't get a whole lot of them, doesn't it? Out of them, it doesn't doesn't it feel like that? I don't know. I I don't know. Still a whole bunch of junk out of most of them. Mike Neal in this pack still not really making your money back, like I said, in most of these packs. But it only takes that one time, man, to pull a boss legend, to pull a golden ticket, something like that. Make it all worth it real, real quick. We're not going to do a ton of pro packs today, especially since they seem to be pretty dry so far. We did get the one that uh, made us some coins, I guess. But, yeah, for the most part, Austin Safari and Jenkins there. Not really much of value out of any of these. We'll do, like, three more pro packs, and then we'll open up an ultimate legend or two. So hopefully we can get something good. If we get something good out of the first Ultimate Legend pack, I promise we'll open up the second one as well. We get a base Andrew Luck. This isn't worth much, but I mean, at least it's going to make me close to the value of the pro pack. So uh, that's not too bad, at least. We'll take that. We'll take that. Not too bad. All right, we'll do two more pro packs, and then we'll get into the Ultimate Legend packs. Wish us some luck here, guys. Come on. And what are you guys getting today? Have you guys pulled anything good? Let me know in the comments section below of this video if you guys pulled any of the new stuff in packs today. I think there's still final editions that you can pull. Um, there might be some... I don't know if there's anything else that you can pull off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember. I mean, there's so much great content in the game right now, honestly. I know it's toward the end of the year of Mutt, but, um, but there's definitely still good stuff in packs. We'll do one more pro pack here, then we'll move on to the Ultimate Legend pack. Uh, come on. Still nothing great out of any of these packs. Come on. One time. Nothing. Edibale. All right. That is going to do it for the pro packs. All right. Let's do the ultimate legend pack. Again, guys, this guarantees us one ultimate legend item as well as eight gold or better items. That's going to give us a good opportunity to pull one of these ultimate legends or potentially a golden ticket. And also, guys, four other player and team items. So let's do it here. 100,000 coins. How many total can you open? Does it even say? I don't even know if it says yeah you can do three so you can do three total oh it says right on there purchases remaining derp but anyways uh so you can do three total we'll start off doing the one and hopefully we can get something good out of it if we do we'll open up the second one as well starting off weak here with our base crap to go in sets for kibius mingo and we get an ultimate legend badge okay i know that those are going for like 10 to 15k so that's not a whole lot of value i think that's what you typically get out of these though and we get a Josh Sitton base elite, okay. Kendall Wright. Marcus Ware. Come on. Jerry Hughes. Crap, 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 crap. Out of the packs. Darren Sproles. And we're down to our final item. And I think it might be one of the base things. So I don't think we're going to pull anything out of this. Yep, it is. So it's a Titan Stadium. Unfortunately, we don't really get anything good out of this pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, though. If you did, do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Guys, we're going to shoot for a double or potentially even a triple upload today. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Again, let me know what you think about the golden ticket Antonio Gates. Is he the best user card in the game right now? Would you guys use him if you could? If you could afford him, do you think he's worth it? Let me know, guys, in the comment section below. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.